Hi everyone, welcome to Jangra Subaru. This is our Share the Love presentation uh, for this year. And uh, it's, I think it's one of the most uh, special times of the year for us. Uh, it's a kind of a capstone of what we do all year and being a Subaru retailer uh, and what happens in December. So uh, for you guys that don't know, every car that's sold from the week uh, before Thanksgiving until the end of the year, first week of January really, is uh, we donate a certain amount for each car. Subaru puts in a, uh, a certain portion and then we will match that up to a certain level. So this year it was about $400 a car. Um, and then we uh, vet a couple of charities which we've been about, I think what, it was about 13 years, Greg, with the YMCA. Is it Ben 10? And then also elderly nutrition. So the idea behind that is we touch all age groups and every demographic in this area. And it's really special because we actually uh, really want to support the, the community that gives us uh, so many car deals, service customers, and things like that. It's at the point now where 17% of the people in Torrington buy cars from us, which is uh, double the state average. So I appreciate all that. So, um, and what I wanted to do too is I want to introduce uh, Chip and Jonathan Jangris who actually took our, our lead and, and supported us to continue this relationship because of they trusted us and what we what our values are and our values lined up with Jangris when they came in. And it's just been a great relationship and we want to keep it going. So I'm going to turn it over to, I don't know if, uh, Chip first and- uh, we'll go We go together. Okay, you're going to go together. Yeah. Okay. Our parents told us to stay together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and sure. So thank you very much. Good morning. My name is Chip Jangris. Um, and one of the things that was most appealing about the Subaru brand for us, we've been in business since 1936. Um, and our business is founded on our core values of passion, caring for others, uh, continuous growth. Um, and what's the last one? Honesty and integrity. Honesty and integrity. <laughs> yes, that's the one. <laughs> Just testing there. Uh, but two of the things that Subaru really aligns with that we saw when we looked at this store to buy it in 2019 was their passion for the product, uh, for each other in the store and their community, and obviously caring. The Subaru Love Promise is a wonderful um, example of Subaru's commitment to the community. And I think Subaru does it, we have 10 different stores, Subaru does it better than anybody. And so it's very inspiring to us and uh, we're very happy to be able to support Andy and his team in the Torrington community uh, with, this, uh, with these checks. And uh, very grateful for everyone who works in the store that's made it possible. Be honest. Uh, I'm Jonathan Jangris. Uh, thanks all for being here. Really appreciate it. Uh, Subaru is really the only manufacturer that partners with us like this. And it's, it's a great uh, opportunity to give back to the community, uh, something we've done. and it's, um, been sort of ingrained from in us, from our grandfather to our parents. Uh, the interesting thing is, to, we didn't grow up in the Torrington market. We didn't don't really know Torrington that well, so it was great when we wanted to do this. But then we handed it off to Andy and his crew and said, "What are the causes that are important to you in this community uh, and to your employees?" And so they chose the YFCA and the elderly nutrition program, um, and it's also inspired us to do a little bit more in our store. So we've now started a program where employees can submit. Uh, a charity that is important to them, and then once a month we review that, and we give gifts monthly to different charities around the state. Um, Barb right here actually just submitted one for a homeless shelter in New Haven, which we just gave to, uh, but it's part of our core values for caring, and it's super important for our employees to be involved in that as well and feel like they're contributing. So with that, I will turn it back to Andy. Turn it back to Andy. Right. Thanks so much. Thank you. Okay, so first what we'll do is we'll, uh, we're will we going to give two big checks, um, and I actually have the real ones here uh, that you can cash, uh, to, our, to our two charities. Okay, I'm going to grab one here, and I don't know if anybody has seen this, but this is for the Elder Nutrition Program. We have a check for $20,200 for your charity. So I'm going to turn that around, and if you want, I'll have you guys come up and say a few words if you don't mind. Um, I'm going to turn the microphone over to you guys. Congratulations. Hi. Wow, thank, thank you. you so much. This is incredible. Um, I just want to thank you guys for, for choosing our program as um, one of the hometown charities. And uh, it's just humbling. That's an enormous amount. Um, we were able last year to serve 149,662 meals to 586 homebound seniors within the 18 towns of the northwest corner. Um, we're a nonprofit. 
uh, grant funded program so donations like this are enormous and uh, with the rising food costs, fuel costs and labor costs we've been having challenging times so uh, we will be sure to use these funds responsibly and uh, we'll continue to try to feed our elderly clients in the area. Thank you so much. Yeah, like, like Christine said, we try to spend every dollar that comes from the community back in the community. Being a nonprofit, which you have to be, um, everyone understands that it's difficult times. She mentioned the food cost and she mentioned you know, the rising cost of everything in the supply chain. Not even just getting food this past year, we had, uh, not even just paying for it, we, we had trouble getting it. So we had menu changes and all kinds of different things going on. And we were able to do more with less because of opportunities like this. We truly value this community partnership. Uh, we look for ways to you know, expound on that and, and tell people in the community what others do for us. And we hope that continues in the future and we look forward to an ongoing partnership with you guys all the time. Thank you so much for believing in us and appreciating our mission. And thank you for the check. It's amazing what we're gonna do with it. Thank you. And then the next one we have is for the Northwest Y. Uh, Greg reminded me it's been 10 years, so let's turn this one around. And we have $17,493 to that charity. So. Greg, come on up. Well, I just want to say thank you so much to Jengris uh, um, for continuing this partnership. You know, 10 years, it's a, you know, it, it all started with, hey, would you be a sponsor at one of our races? And uh, can we bring a car? And sure, you know, and then, you know, sorry. Then um, it's blossomed in, into this 10 year partnership. And uh, at, at that time we had just three races uh, road races that we that we made uh, Subaru the Grand Prix race sponsor of. And now we have six, so we have six communities, six community events, um, six races where we recognize Jengra Subaru as our Grand Prix race series sponsor and trying to give back in terms of supporting what the Y does. Um, our organizations match up because the values of the Y are caring, honesty, respect, and responsibility. And and thank you for sharing that your values are, um, Chip, because it's perfect. No wonder we've. Uh, We've shared the love here for the last 10 years, you know. Um, last year I spoke about uh, what we were using uh, our money for, and, and as uh, car builders, you're, you care about safety. And so safety around water is really important to us at the Y, and uh, last year we were uh, renting Camp Mo uh, and, and getting into what we call brown water and having kids swim there, and so um, I'm not gonna make Andy wear this again this year, but we, <laughs> but we, we had these uh, headbands that we had the kids, and, and when they're in the water, and if they go underwater for 20 seconds, a uh, lifeguard's wristband would vibrate, and there's a, a light beacon that would uh, tell them what direction to look for, and then if another 20 seconds went by, then an alarm would go off, everybody would get out. So um, the kids love these. They, as, as we were told by the salespeople, that they wouldn't even know they were on, so to get on the waterfront, they had to wear these. Um, every kid wore them, and it was great. Um, we didn't have any serious incidents, so we all can take a deep breath when the summer's over, you know. Um, but it, it was, it was life-changing for us. And, and so when camp ended, um, we brought them to the Torrington Y because we have groups of kids that swim there during the school year and we started using it there. So um, we are getting a second system to use at the Torrington Y um, for our summer camps. And so I thank you all for uh, providing us and allowing us to do that and to keep kids safe. So thank you so much and I appreciate the, the long sponsorship. Bye. I, I have it open for if anybody else wants to come up and say anything. I don't know if anybody from Subaru New England. I know uh, this is John Demartini. He's a rep from Subaru New England. He, we have a great relationship with him, and I'll let him say a few Thanks, words. Thanks, Andy. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks. I just want to say thank you for everyone uh, in the dealership as well as uh, the Junkers organization that supports the Subaru Share the Love program. This is really uh, what we enjoy a lot. I mean, we're in the car business. We sell cars and, and all, but. Um, uh, uh, this, is, this is what Subaru is really about. Recently, Forbes magazine, I think it was March, 
identified Subaru as the number two brand in America for social impact. And it is simply programs like this and activities like this that has brought us to that. So on behalf of Subaru New England, Ernie Bach, um, thank you very much for uh, identifying your local charities and uh, the impact that you make in your community. So thank you very much. Thank you, John. Thank you. And I think we'll wrap it up. And one thing that I do want to thank, I want to thank everybody in this building that makes this possible. I know Joe and Ty and their team, Jeff and his team, Zach and his team, uh, we all work together to make this happen. So it's, it's, it happens at the end of the year, but it's all year that makes this happen. So I want to thank everybody that, that worked on this. I appreciate you all, so thank you.